It's time for the biggest art challenge I'm doing this year, the Daily Doodle Diary Challenge. Today is the 1st of February and we managed to draw every single day of January. We've still got the entire year to go, it's such a big challenge. In January we used lots of different mediums, lots of different subjects and I think I'm going to take that forward into February. We're going to be drawing anything and we're going to be using the random prompt pot. Let's see what today's prompt is. Oh, theatre. This one's really cool, I don't know if you can see that. And just an FYI, I don't know how to use alcohol markers. I got them for Christmas and I've only ever tried them on the doodle paper so I haven't been able to try out many techniques. I want to go for something kind of abstract though, like where it sort of gives the illusion of a theatre. It's an interesting set of markers though, I don't have actually that many colours. So even though on the picture it's kind of like red and brown, we're not going to be able to do that. So it's not going to be a red curtain. Okay, I've got an orange. I've got a really bright orange. This could work. I think I'll try and add some details now. I don't know why the ink just falls out of this pen. Like, look at that, it's so strange. It would have looked better with red. I didn't have a red. So I picked orange. I think it kind of looks like a filter. This is tomorrow's dilemma. It's time for another Doodle Diary. Today, we've got what's left from last page. I'm thinking we're going to grab bits of scrapbook paper here and just do a few different blocks and then draw on them, maybe like a portrait. This is how the doodles turned out. I'm not really sure what I expected, but I don't think it was this. I really love the collage. I think it's a cool concept. I just don't think it went super well. Can you tell that I was sitting at a slight angle because the face... It doesn't look right when you look at it this way, but I was kind of over here and from this angle it's like not too bad. Let me show you what I've been up to this last week. I decided to not really film too much. We did this one, which was really fun. And because I was using the metallic markers, I wanted to just have the freedom to just explore and have fun. I really like the negative space in both of these, but honestly, can you see the shine? I think the silver one does have a shine. The gold one, I don't know. Like this is the gold one in comparison. So I did some little flowers and I did some little cats, just casual doodles. Then I did this ballerina and then I got some new pens from my sister's partner. He found a load, so I just tested those out. And I'm currently editing the January Daily Doodle Diary video, which is really exciting. It's like six hours, 50. I think it could be a really cool video if I can edit it well. Well, that's my first live done in a long while. It actually went pretty good. I had a couple of good conversations. So I used Neocolor for the background and then these are color pencil. We've got like this cute frog, some stars, the cat. 
I just painted these for a commission that I'm working on. They're little thumbnail sketches to decide which one we're going to do. And since I've got my watercolours out in front of me, I feel like for today's Daily Doodle, that's what we should use. What I did previously, we did... The prompt that we got from the prompt pot was hot dog. So I just did this kind of abstract thing. We've got a little bit of transfer coming through. So maybe I'll just do like a simple silhouette or something, just something really easy that isn't going to disturb what's underneath. I'm thinking something very doodly. Unfortunately, it's kind of showing through on the other side now, so I think I'm going to leave it there. This has only taken like four minutes. It's a super quick doodle. This is how it's looking. It's just literally a really simple doodle. You can kind of see that it's gone through. Mm, maybe we'll use watercolor another time, but on the right side rather than the left. Just finished painting this. It's still kind of wet, but I used the metallic watercolors and I really love how this went. So I think I'm gonna use my metallic watercolors still for today's doodle diary. This painting is a good example of when you pick the medium you want to use. It's shiny, it's fun, it's gonna be great, but have actually no plan whatsoever. I had no clue what I was gonna draw here. I just knew I wanted to use metallics and I wanted it to be fun. And I think we kind of achieved that. It's also made me want to use them much more often, but maybe not like this and maybe not on this paper. Okay, the last few days of my daily doodle have just been experimenting with watercolour and messing about really, making very warped paper. This eye was really fun, and then this is metallics and this little beach scene. I also want to see if I can stick stuff down to stop it being so warped. So maybe we'll just stick down a few pieces of paper and then just draw on them. I don't know. It is really quite warped. I'm gonna go for these butterfly pages, I think. These are kind of the ones that I mess about with. They're quite cheap and they're not in a cute little book, so they're just ones I can have fun with. So what I wanna see is whether the paper will flatten the warped paper if I place it well. Well, I've stuck down various bits of paper on here. I don't know whether it's any less warped. Maybe a little bit, actually. Oh, I wonder if we could add some watercolour on top of the paper. What do you think? I don't know. It was really fun. Okay, I've never created anything like this before. Are you ready? It's a funky giraffe. I think I forgot to show you yesterday, but after I did this page, I did this one, which was just a representation of how I felt. And I also did just some thumbnail sketches, so there wasn't really anything good here. Because these are water-soluble pencils, we're gonna have to be a little bit careful about what we drop on this side. I think it's just gonna be pen. 
for some reason on this day I decided to try and draw my own hand. It's something that I need to practice but because I was using a biro I didn't actually do like the guidelines. I just kind of went for it and I think that shows it didn't go well. Maybe it would have been better with a pencil and maybe it would have been better if I'd actually studied beforehand. Hand. But it didn't go well. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you've got a water with you. I have a water next to me, well, squash, but I have a water next to me, so I hope you do. Yesterday, I was a little bit cheeky. I went to the art shop and got a couple of nice things. Picked up these two Neo colors. How gorgeous are they? They're such unique pastel shades. We could do some swatches, just using the two colors, obviously. I'm thinking of doing these flowers, kind of like the flower and the vase in one color, and then like a checkerboard behind. That's the little idea that I've got in my head. Since I last spoke to you, we did these awful hands together. But I also did this cute little sketch without any pencil lines underneath, and I really like it. I like the background and the stars. I think it ties it together. I like it. Then I did a cute little diagram list thing of all the stuff that I needed to take when I was going away. Then I did this from Line of Action. This was a super quick one because we got back late. So now we're on the 20th. The green was the first one that I picked up. I think this is just such a lovely shade. And this one is the sky blue. Don't look at these. They're so different to anything I've got right now as well. So I'm going to use these flowers and we're going to do blue for the checks because I did blue on that side for the lines. I know we're doing it all in the same colour because it doesn't like, I can't really follow where I'm at because it all looks like so similar on here but it's so different in real life. I think that's quite cute. I'm going to add the checks and then see if I want to add anything else to the flowers. I think this is so cute. I really like the framing. I like the checkerboard. I don't know. I just think this is pretty cute. I'm happy with it. And I love the two new colors, especially the green, although the blue looks really lovely too. It's like a lavender kind of blue. And that's today's done. I want to be selfish with you. Beat the green landscape and there's no green. What are we gonna do? I'm using those weird pens that I got that are technically water-based and water-soluble apparently, but stink of alcohol. So I'm pretty sure they're kind of alcohol markers, but they're saying that they're not. These are those pens. The color selection is really odd because it's a pastel set that also has like a bright blue and a bright orange. Considering there isn't a solid green, I think I really tried my hardest to make it still look like a landscape and kind of achieved it by just mixing a little bit of green and yellow with the background shining through. I think what this piece showed is that if I have good quality alcohol markers, markers, I might be able to actually create something good with them and with a wider colour selection.
For today's Daily Doodle Diary, I would like to do something a little bit different. We did this marker page and then on the back, I did a slightly abstract thing where I just added a little bit of neo colors and tried to make the most of what we have. And honestly, like, I think that's pretty cute. And then these are just random pieces, really. This is just, this is all I did. It was late at night, so I just did stuff. I would like to use up some stuff in my scrap folder because like you can see it's it's pretty big. I want to use up some stuff in here so I don't know what we're going to create but we're going to try and collage a little bit just to make it a little bit smaller, try and get through some things. What do we got? A random birthday card which honestly like that might be quite cute. I might be able to do something with that. Maybe you could pop this in a window. Should we try that? It's like this. I kept a bit of the border because it doesn't really make much difference if we're going to be sticking over it. Oh, we could use some of the wrapping paper that I had. Let's stick this down first. I don't really collage. I use watercolour and I paint. But the Doodle Diary has allowed me to sort of have this space that I can just do whatever with and it's really fun. I do want to use the Neo colours but I do tend to use them quite a lot. The problem is that the horizon line would be directly where this would go, unless I do the strips like this way round, which I feel like would crop out less of the picture. Like I have this that I could use that might work. Okay, as much as I want to do a full collage piece, I just know it'd be so much easier to use pencils. I think that's kind of cute. It does add texture. Yeah, there we go. This is today's Doodle Diary all done. What do you think? Is it a cop out or is it inventive? <laughs> I think it's a little bit of both. It used up supplies that I wanted to use up that were just in my scraps pile. I've got my daily doodle diary and I just cleaned my watercolour palette and filled it up which you're going to see in a new art vlog. These are the watercolour tubes that have been sacrificed. These are all done but you can see there's a tiny bit of paint in each of them. I've also got this and this which has some paint in so we'll try and get what we can and then do some kind of lines or something on top. Can you believe the lid of this tiny tube of paint has filled the entire page? You probably have no clue what I'm trying to create here, but it was actually areas of a face just spontaneously dotted around the page. You might be able to see that there's multiple eyes, lips, noses, ears. That was the vibe for this piece and it kind of looks crazy towards the end, but that was what I was trying to create. I just realised that I haven't actually shown you my recent daily doodles. We did this one together. This is a super simple one. I just popped some paper down with a little bit of colour pencil. This was a really quick doodle that I did before midnight. This one I asked on shorts and reels for any suggestions of what to draw. And I got a request for a rabbit and a chicken playing in the wildflowers field. So this is what I did in Neo Colours. And then the next day, same again. I got Mickey Mouse and a dragon fruit, so we tried this, I tried to do something. These are just really quick biro pieces, I wanted to do something that wouldn't go through the page, this is just lots of and a idea. This was super fun, this was using junk, and I just put some gold marker over the top and it was really fun. I did this, which is literally just random doodles, and then I did this, because I got some water base markers yesterday from a Timu haul, and I just wanted to try them out, they're honestly so bright. Honestly, we've got quite a bit of transfer, but I think I need to kind of get used to it. I've got colour pencils in front of me, so I'm feeling like we should use these. Could we do something like, maybe slightly surreal? I kind of want to use like pastel pinks, pastel blues. Oh, why don't we do lilacs actually instead? Something like these, these are all gorgeous. Just one.
want the feeling of you in my bed. This one was super quick. I'm trying to become more okay with the background and the transfer, but honestly, like, I just know it would look so much nicer if it didn't have it. But it's lined paper, so there's not much we can do. We're gonna have to get used to it. The last few weeks have been a little bit crazy in here. I've been doing super weird stuff. I did this cute little witch. I was feeling super witchy because I did my bullet journal spread. Then I did some creepy kids. I don't know, I guess I was just experimenting with changing the face shapes and making things not pretty. I think I managed it. They don't look pretty. Afterwards, I did this. I was kind of inspired and decided to draw some cute little like hedgehogs and wildlife. I used some leftover white gouache underneath and used water markers on top. And honestly, like it kind of looks like gouache. I think it picked up some of the gouache, but it looks kind of cute. And then I did this last night. Then I had a little bit of gouache left over today, so I've added that. And I think we're gonna do neo colors. I was thinking about doing a landscape, but maybe I'll see if I have anything on my photos that we can use. Well, actually we did. We went to a castle recently. I might be able to use something from there. What about this? Do you think this could be cute? I might make the sky a little bit more blue, but we could use this as a loose reference. Obviously we've got quite a bit of texture on the page already. I did a couple of portrait paintings because I'm starting a new series on here where we're designing characters based on every single star sign, which is quite a big series that was kind of spontaneous. I thought about it last year and I knew it would be quite a big one, but then I just decided like, yeah, let's go for it. Why not? What I might do is I might try and do it a little bit abstract, try and do like some kind of texture shading rather than actual shading. I feel like this looks more like a house than a part of a castle ruins, honestly. It is just a ruins. It's not very recognisable because it's not well maintained, so it kind of is like just a building that's fallen apart. I don't know what it looks like, but I think it's kind of cute. Well, hello there, good afternoon. It's time for another Daily Doodle. Honestly, the last few days have been a little bit chaotic, so I'm thinking today we're just gonna draw a portrait. Well, I don't know actually, they're a little bit more normal than the previous week. First, I've got this, which is Neo colors, kind of negative space. It was just what was around me. This landscape, which I think is pretty cute. And this weird little boy in an apocalyptic world. And yesterday I did this one, which I honestly really love. Did this one in neo colors. So today we're just gonna do a really simple portrait. I've added Pinterest and this is my page. I'm not gonna be too fussy. I might literally just go for that one, the first portrait that's come up. Yeah, I think I'll go for this one. It's middle purple pink. This is the one I'm using. It's ultramarine and I absolutely love it. Cause one day your butts turn to blossoms and they all say, Wow, look at her now. Can't even walk outside without the sweetness of her scent around. Can't stop her now. Planted her roots deep in the ground. Like magnolias in the spring, I open up my petals to the sky. Soaking in the water colors, I these are the three colours that I used. And this is how the portraits turned out. I don't think it looks very much like the reference photo and I think this eye is a lot higher than it should have been. But if we just ignore that, I'm really sorry, it has been a while. I've had a lot going on and I'll be able to tell you about it very soon. Honestly, when it came to the Doodle Diary, I just ended up doing it really late at night because I was busy throughout the day. I still did it, I haven't missed any days. I played about with this rainbow colour pencil. I did this one in brush marker, which I think is really cute. I think that's a cute spread. I took loads of pages out of a book and stuck it down and then tried to do clouds on top. I don't know if it really worked. I created this one whilst watching a Sandy Hester video. Really quick doodle. That one took about two minutes, but honestly, it's nice to have really quick ones sometimes. This was another weird midnight one. I obviously had a song stuck in my head. That's weird too. There's so many weird pieces. I tried to do a little bit of junk journaling here and then draw like a forest on top, but I'm not sure it worked. And this was just a messy one. I'm thinking we're gonna use this rainbow color pencil again. 
because I haven't actually used it with you. I'm not completely sure how to use it. There is a technique and I don't know it yet. So we're going to try and create something. Oh, that could be really cool. That might give me a little bit more experience with where to hold the pencil to get certain colours. So that could work. So we need to try and find red, which might be about here. There you go, there's red. And then this eye is blue. Oh, no, we've ended up a little bit green. Still ending up green, but this is where I think blue is. Now this eyeliner is pink. Oh, we've ended up with blue again. This is so difficult trying to get like very specific colours that you want. I, see you smile. I might need to press quite a bit harder just to cover up some of the bleed through. That's not yellow either. How have I ended up with orange and green and I can't get yellow? Okay, I think my way of using the rainbow pencil is I'm just going to use it randomly because I'm trying to get specific colours and it's really not working. I don't know how people do it. It must be practice. This pencil definitely needs to be sharpened now. And this is what we made. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. Yeah, I think I like it. Hello, good afternoon. It's time to do the final daily doodle diary of March. I'm thinking we're gonna stick to the rainbow color pencil theme just because how cool is this spread gonna look if we use the same medium for all of them? It is just a small box though. Since we've already kind of done a portrait and something different, I'm thinking we're just gonna go on Pinterest and find a nice little landscape. Oh, that's quite cute. That's the first one that's popped up, but there's quite a lot going on in that scene. Oh, what about something like this one? This one's a little bit more simple. Yeah, we could try this one. The final drawing didn't quite go to plan. I actually preferred the two that I did on the previous days. It was a cute landscape and I think it had a lot of potential, but it was really difficult to do with the colour pencil. I mean, I didn't want to control the rainbow colour pencil and try and get specific colours because that really does defeat the point. But some areas really could have done with more colour distinction. This one is so simple, it literally took six minutes. And that's how the final spread is looking. And with that, I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you've missed the first month, I will leave that one down below. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date on this journey. We're gonna be drawing every single day of 2024. I upload every Thursday and Sunday. I would love to see you there. Look after yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.